the lesson today, we are going to dive into the world of guitar harmony and how it can elevate your sound with this truly incredible technique. So we'll be talking about how to create them, why they can be challenging at first, I have a special trick to help you get them down quickly, and how to incorporate them into your own playing style immediately. Now, as an added bonus, one of the songs that I played in the introduction to this video is an excellent example of how this concept has been applied beautifully to a hit song that reached the top 10 billboard in the 1970s. So stick around to the end of this video to find out which one it is and to learn how to play it. All right, are you ready? Today we're going to explore the world of guitar harmony. So first, what is a harmony on guitar? Simply put, a harmony is the art of playing two or more notes simultaneously to create a rich, full sound. By adding harmonies to your playing, you can create a sense of depth and emotion that will captivate your audience. So while there are a lot of possibilities of notes that can be played together to create a harmony, today we will specifically be talking about the harmony of a third. The harmony of a third is the most commonly used on the guitar, and to fully understand how these are used, we need to learn how they are made. Let's talk music theory and how they are constructed. All right, let's take a look at the C major scale. If we take the C note and go up three letter names and combine them, we have a C and an E note together. That's a third. If we play these two intervals together, they are called a harmonic third. Next, if we take the D note from the C major scale and add three notes in the key of D major to that note, it's an F. If we play these two intervals together, we have a harmonic interval of a third. As you can see, this can be repeated on every note in the C major scale, resulting in the harmony of a third for every note in that scale. All right, now that we know the theory of how these intervals are made, let's play them on the guitar in the key of C. So for this, I've created a play along tab for you to follow. I am just gonna start the play along with the tablature on screen with no talking. I want you just to follow along. Now the trick to learning these is to find patterns so it doesn't seem so random. I'm not sure, but can you spot the patterns? There's definitely patterns when we're learning these. So we have two notes on adjacent strings that are on the same fret, two notes that are on adjacent strings that are one fret apart, and two notes that are on adjacent strings that are two frets apart. All right, so let's apply this to the guitar. Now that we know how to play them, how can we use them? Well, the best way to use these intervals and the coolest way is to combine them with chords, but not just any chords, chords that are in the key of C major. Let's go over all the chords in the key of C major first. So in the key of C major, we have a C chord, we have a D minor chord, we have an E minor chord, we have an F chord, we have a G chord, and we have an A minor chord. Let's see if we can improvise and come up with something on our own with what we just learned. Now to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to pick a few chords from the key of C major and add intervals of thirds between each chord while moving from one chord to the other. Okay, here's an example of something that I just made up, uh, just completely on the spot. I'm using C chord, an A minor chord, a D minor chord, and a G chord. So check out how we can do this, this is really cool. So there are a lot of possibilities here. There's several different mixes of chords. You can use typical chord progressions like a 1625 or a 145. But the idea is to be creative and have fun with this, right? It becomes your own when you start making up these things and combining these things, right? All right, can you guess which of the three intro songs are the best examples of harmonies of thirds in the key of C? Drum roll, please. Yep, you guessed it. Rihanna by Fleetwood Mac. Let's learn this song. So once again, I've created a play along tab for you to follow. I'm just gonna start playing along with the tablature on screen with no talking. To learn this fully, you'll have to rewatch this a few times. And once again, don't forget to use that cog wheel to slow it down if you need to. Mm -hmm. 
In conclusion, I would like to encourage you to experiment with the examples that we provided in this lesson today. So applying thirds is a great way, as you can see, to add dynamic and a colorful element to your playing that will set you apart from the crowd. Just know that this lesson has been simplified to be in the key of C and in the open position, but it can be greatly expanded into other keys and areas on the neck of the guitar. So let me know by leaving a comment below if you'd like for me to create a part two of this video where we explore guitar harmonies all over the neck and in multiple keys. In the meantime, I encourage you to grab your guitar and start exploring the world of harmonies with the materials that I've presented today. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks to enhance your playing. Remember that it is my passion and it is a joy to help you learn on the instrument and connecting with you is what makes all the effort worthwhile. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson.